welcome to some Planet Zoo gameplay today. Uh, I'm featuring the Sher Khan uh, habitat. The Sher Khan uh, is a dynasty of tigers that are going to populate this habitat and uh, I'm excited to see what becomes of this family of tigers but also uh, how this habitat uh, goes from very basic to very beautiful and wonderful so uh, this is just the first episode and I think it's only right that I introduce you to the man of the moment the first tiger to populate this habitat and he is none other than Abir the Royal Bengal Tiger there he is doesn't he look awesome even from a distance so we're gonna zoom in a bit and there he is in all his royal beauty. Now this is what you call a king. And Abir is the king of this habitat. It's a huge habitat by the way. Uh, the game requires you to have a habitat of at least uh, around 700 meter squares. But uh, I don't know if I'm saying that right. But I've gone with 7000 because I believe tigers deserve to feel that they own territory and so I've really given him a lot in this one and he's free to roam around enjoy himself and feel like he's the boss uh, rather than feeling confined and restricted to a small um, area so let's just stick with Abir uh, for a moment get a good look at him of course for a tiger to be alone in such a huge habitat is not fair so very shortly in this video we're going to introduce him to a very very special friend and I want all of you to stick with me uh, so that we can check out his reaction uh, that is going to be the beginning of uh, the Sher Khan the dynasty of tigers in my zoo uh, I haven't named my zoo yet. Uh, this was the first thing I wanted to do because I'm fascinated with tigers. They're awesome animals. Uh, let me show you around the habitat. So it's a very basic build. Nothing very fancy going on here. But I've broken this habitat up into three major viewing areas. The first and most important one is this viewing area which is a viewing gallery which enters into the habitat just to give guests the feel that you know they're a part of the tiger's natural surroundings it is still in development guys it's very basic uh, future episodes will give you a sense of how i've been able to beautify it and build it up so this is the first one very important i'll show you the view in a moment uh, then I have these glass wall viewing areas uh, at the side. Uh, they're not really viewing areas, but I just wanted guests to be able to look into the habitat while they pass by. Uh, and uh, to make sure that I, they're able to, I've put the tiger's feeding uh, tray just near the glass. I've given him some um, scratching tree tamarinds just to get him to stick here sometimes so that the guests can get a glimpse of him while they pass by. Uh, the other viewing area is uh, this glass wall section here. I'll have to raise the heights of the walls a bit just to make it more natural. You know, tigers are good leapers. Uh, I'm going to have a path which is going to be a trajectory moving closer to this glass viewing area so that the guests can um, get a glimpse of the tiger and to make sure that he's around this area from time to time i've put some uh, scratching tree tamarinds there so now coming to the habitat uh, i try to cover all grounds to make sure that abir is satisfied so is he is he really okay well, yes, except for the enrichment, the food enrichment, which I will get done uh, by the time the next video is out. Everything seems to be good. 
Uh, he doesn't like a lot of uh, grass, so I've uh, used light soil and heavy soil primarily. I've also terraformed the, the land. It's not flat. Uh, there are some bumpy areas and some flat areas to make it look natural. And uh, a key here is the pool or the pond that I've given him. Now, you don't have to for the tiger to be satisfied. You don't need to have a pool in which they can swim in. But uh, it's a fact that tigers are great swimmers. They love to swim. And so uh, I've made sure that I gave this tiger the opportunity to Abir uh, to have a good swim from time to time. And trust me, I've been observing him and he loves it. So if you're thinking of building a tiger habitat, do put in a swimming area. It also you know, makes for an opportunity to add to the tiger's personality, okay? Otherwise, you'll just see him sleeping around and walking around as opposed to uh, swimming from time to time. So, yeah, let's come to this area, okay? This is the main viewing area. It's on a raised platform and it enters into the habitat. Uh, very basic for the time being. I'm going to beautify it and build it up. So, guess they can enter this way there's a lot of room inside here where I'm going to put some educational material some lighting some maybe some fancy wall paneling with the decorations available um, and guests can come all the way to the edge and uh, have a look now by the way there's glass paneling uh, that I'm going to add because naturally you have to close it up or else guests are going to want to jump out and get adventurous. I know they won't do that in this game but naturally uh, this is how it's going to be in the real world. So they can come here and they get a very very good view. Oh wow, did he just jump? Did Abhi just jump? Where did he jump to? Okay. He landed on the floor. But uh, yeah, so guests coming into this viewing gallery can have a look at Abir uh, swimming. Uh, you want to give guests the best views possible. And I'm sure if when you visit a zoo, that's what you would expect. So they can come here and they can watch him having a good swim, uh, walking around the place. And this here is a mound that I have created with a sprinkler. Now the tigers love their sprinklers. So Abir gets on here, he lazifies and he gets a good shower from the sprinkler and that's also within uh, viewing, uh, the viewing frame of the guests. Um, I've tried to keep the habitat as natural as possible so I've gone with uh, some um, Bengal bamboos which is true to the natural habitat of the royal Bengal tiger and then just for a sense of scale and, uh, and height uh, I've gone with the uh, kapok tree which is a tropical uh, tree that belongs in the tropical biome I've uh, littered the place with branches, rocks um, uh, cut tree trunks but as I said uh, this is just the beginning um, there's the century plant which also belongs in the tropical biome so I do like how it looks and I've just spread it around the place now in case you're wondering what this is this is Abir's shelter okay you need to build a shelter for the animals uh, I'm going to uh, make it blend in a little more with the natural habitat but uh, interestingly uh, to be very honest Abir probably hates it because he hasn't stepped in there even once okay so he just loves to laze around and sleep wherever he gets uh, a spot out in the open um, where is he where is he okay there he is yeah there you go so see I've prepared a very nice shelter for him um, but no he would rather sleep uh, out in the open so this is not within viewing distance of the guests but I guess I'm going to fill it out with rocks 
because I don't want Adi to spend his time in an area where the guests cannot see him so I'm gonna block it off um, yeah so this is what the habitat is for the moment but do do subscribe uh, to the channel for notifications on uh, future videos which will show you how I have developed uh, this habitat and by then hopefully Abir will also have uh, a family because what we're going to do now is we're going to introduce him to a very very special friend and we're going to choose her from the animal trading center so here we go the Bengal tiger is what we're looking for And the only one left is Meher. By the way, I love the name. Meher. Okay, there we have another one. Suhani. Uh, Suhani is 5.9 years old. Meher is 6.6 .6 years old. Um, Abir is around 4, if I remember correctly. So, I think I'm going to go with uh, the Suhani. Okay, so, by the way, I'm playing in sandbox mode. So I'm not restricted with finances. I'm just letting my creativity grow wild and just enjoying the animals. So we're going to send Meher to the Sher Khan habitat. And man, I wonder what Ahabir's first reaction uh, is going to be. It's going to be interesting though. Is it going to be love at first sight? Or is he just going to give her the cold brush? Yeah. Uh, while we're waiting for Meher to arrive, uh, this area right in front is not going to be so bare bones. I'm going to fill this out as well with hanging roots and, and, and all that good stuff. Maybe some water out here, this area. Okay. Uh, was I able to successfully order Meher or did I click something and we lost her in the trade? Okay, I can hear a lot of grunts and groans. There he is on the prowl again. Uh, so this is what I mean, guys. Uh, getting him to enjoy the sprinkler and the guests. I mean, let me get in soon, soon. Okay. Yeah, so Sohani has arrived. So here it is. So he's he likes to hang around the sprinkler and it's a raised mound and uh, guests can get a good view of it as well. So if you want guests to get good views of the animals and you place these enrichment items uh, at strategic locations. But now I'm waiting for the first meeting between Sohani and Abhir. And is it going to be love at first sight? She's also a beauty. And she's a queen serving her home, and there it is. Okay, that 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 is like a grown-up approval, and they decide to take a swim together. Could you ask for a better meeting? Wow, what a start! They both decide to take a swim together in the waters of love, so to speak. Wow. And thus begins the beginning of the Sher Khan dynasty. And uh, I'm so happy that all of you could join me. And uh, we're going to stick with these two tigers. I love tigers, by the way. We're going to stick with them. And we're going to see how the family grows, but not just the family, how this habitat grows and how we're able to beautify it even more while making sure that the animals are comfortable and they feel like they are in their natural uh, habitat. So this is Abir. And uh, he can't take his eyes off her. Come on, Sohani, you need to spend more time with him. Okay, he's back to swimming. Let's get a first person view. Sohani. Beauty. 
beauty. I can't say it's beauty and the beast. They're both beauties. Awesome. Now, in case you're wondering what I'm going to do with these bare walls, I definitely don't like the look of it. So I'm going to line them up with rocks so they don't look like walls. And if you want to see how that turns out, then you can join me on the next episode. So, Sohani, your boyfriend loves to swim. He loves to sleep. What are you going to be spending your time doing in this habitat? Okay, she's hungry. I think it's a good time to get a view of her. Uh, Alright, so you get the sense of the glass walls. I think it's a good time to show you this again. Um, guess who pass by this side? Uh, they're going to be cordoned off, of course. Can get a view as they walk by of this tiger feeding because I've placed a feeding tray just near the wall, along with some uh, scratching tree tamarinds. Now, if you're wondering if I'm going to introduce any more tigers, um, no, I don't think that goes with the personality. Tigers are solitary animals. And Maximum one male to two females, but right now I'm just happy with uh, Abir and Sohani and uh, I'm keeping uh, My hopes up. I hope nothing happens to either of them so that I don't have to introduce any more uh, Full-grown tigers, but I'm gonna count on the children that they have Together where did she disappear to? <coughs> Madam Sohani They've got Lovely Indian names, by the way. Um, have any of you ever seen tigers in their natural habitats? I haven't. I have seen some at the zoo. But trust me, uh, Planet Zoo gives me uh, some awesome experience with uh, animals that even a zoo can't match in terms of getting up close and personal even though they are not real animals she looks like a boss lady doesn't she so honey the boss lady man this is such a beautiful shot of the tiger walking uh, frontier has done such a wonderful job with the animations Uh, in case you're wondering if I had any particular pattern in mind when I was setting up these uh, bamboo trees, no, I just went for tufts, some clear spaces for them to pass by, but uh, I have placed the trees uh, strategically, you know, so like here I've created a path that can be used to come all the way from here out here and then here so I've I've set up the trees uh, that way to sort of direct the tiger's movement yeah, so it, it there should be there should be a block here actually because I don't want him to move away from the guests so yeah, I'm going to block this area off. And so if he's coming out this way, if he's coming out this way, he has no choice but to turn and come here right within the viewing frame of, of the guests, he or she. Okay. Yes. So I told you they love to swim. I've been observing Abhi for quite a while now and he just loves to get into the water. So there we have it guys, the first meeting of the Sher Khan dynasty, uh, the patriarch and the matriarch, uh, Abir and, okay that wasn't a very pleasant view, <laughs> Abir you're embarrassing me now. Um, so the patriarch and the matriarch. Uh, 
the man and the woman, uh, Abir, the king, and Meher, the queen, uh, sorry, Sohani, the queen, and they're going to start off the Sher Khan dynasty. And as the dynasty grows, the habitat is going to grow with a lot more innovation. And uh, I can't wait to see what comes out of this. So thank you so much for joining me on uh, this first episode of the Sher Khan dynasty uh, in the tiger habitat that I built for them. And I can't wait to catch up with you on the next video here on Planet Zoo. A gameplay don't forget to please like uh, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos I would love to share them with you and enjoy the game with you so who knows maybe the next time I meet you uh, we'll have some beautiful cute tiger cubs to show off uh, but for now this is DJ plays signing off and thank you once again for checking out uh, my habitat. See you soon.